Hey everybody, before we get started with this video review, a uh, bit of a chat first. Um, so today is Monday when I'm recording this, and I have not done a video since last Tuesday. And um, I've, I've mentioned before about uh, the new work schedule that's uh, quite taxing, and then life gets in the way and so forth. Um, and so I, I really do regret having not having done uh, videos over the, the back half of last week and this past weekend. Um, just keeping that in mind, I don't want to be having to do these apologies and ex excuses, explanations, whatever, anymore going forward. So keeping all that in mind, I'm going to cut back. I had committed to doing three, still doing three videos a week. I'm going to make that two videos a week. Um, that's going to be in addition to the written content on the site, which will be returning. I have a, a backlog of uh, beers to write about for beers in review, frankly. And so, um, I think just even just doing that, coming back on one video will make uh, everything a little bit easier for me, um, going forward. So uh, again, that's going to be, uh, I do, I do apologize again for having missed most of last week's videos, but I'm going to get back on track starting right now. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Susquehanna Brewing Company in Pittston, Pennsylvania. This is Golden Cold Lager. Here's what the brewery has to say about it. Golden Cold, Lo Golden Cold Lager is a refreshing German-inspired beer brewed with Pilsner malt and a small amount of sour malls to bring out a traditional rounded note. We use a unique milling and mashing process known as endosperm mashing and classic decoction. By separating the husk from the mash, it allows us to brew a beer delicate in flavor and texture. Bavarian Hauertau tradition and Hauertau pearl hops make for a crisp, classic, and nuanced bitterness that brings our corner of Northeast Pennsylvania a little closer to you. 22 IBUs, 5% ABV. That was a bit of a tricky one right there. A lot of big words in that uh, short little description. Okay, so. Fairly lagerish, dare I say, maybe, uh, well, not dare I say, it's certainly a nice golden color, a little darker than what you would normally expect from your, uh, at least your pale macro lager crowd. So it's a nice color. Pretty much yellow by definition and kind of goes into a straw to straw gold as I hold it up to the light. Plenty of carbonation shooting up through the glass though uh, not much head to it so it's all dissipating fairly quickly. All right let's give it a taste. Yeah, it tastes like beer. <laughs> um, certainly is some skill to this beer. I can definitely recognize that, again, compared to the majority of the, the lager, pale lager, uh, macro-produced crowd. Um, so I can say that's really a, a point in its favor from... Uh, from these guys. Uh, certainly is crisp and refreshing. Um, with that little bit of bitterness that they talk about. Really in the back end of the tasting experience. And I'm almost getting into a little more now. As an aftertaste. Plenty of grains. In the, the front to middle of the drinking experience. Um, maybe a little bit of a, uh, maybe a little bit of corn. No, not quite corn, but, um, again, pretty much just what you, you'd expect from a, from a lager. Uh, just kind of tastes like beer, but it'll be good for, uh, good for these summer months that are warming up and. Yeah, a uh, solid little beer from uh, Susquehanna Brewing. Let's just see. Yeah, 
Yeah, just uh, the only other thing is really just maybe a, a, a slight hint of sweetness on the front end. But um, that is the Susquehanna Golden Cold Lager. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find the links and usernames in the des description below. Also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.